For almost a month Roman Kostomarov has been in intensive care with severe pneumonia, and the news from the hospital still keeps him busy. A week ago, the media reported that the athlete's condition had improved, and that he had regained consciousness and was breathing on his own. According to doctors, there is a positive trend. However, in recent days, a source reported that Kostomarov had an amputated foot on his left leg, reports Telegram Channel 112. Severe surgery took place the day before, February 6. Her goal was to remove all necrosis and stop the process of cell death. Previously, it was reported that gangrene affected both legs of the skater, but during the operation, doctors managed to clean the dead part of the tissue from the right leg. On the left, the affected area was large, and it was necessary to completely amputate the ankle. After the surgery Kostomarov was conscious and kept on a drip, his temperature was high. Doctors are regularly dressing him and taking tests. Professor of the First Sechenov Moscow State Medical University, Surgeon Andrei Shestikov explained why Olympic champion and ice dancing Roman Kostomarov needed a foot amputation. Recall, Kostomarov was hospitalized on January 10. He had to stay on ECMO and ventilator for a long time. According to the doctor, the main diagnosis of the skater is sepsis, which triggers an inflammatory process throughout the body. What caused it is difficult to judge, because it is not fully understood. After sepsis, purulent foci start flying all over the body, inseminating everything. The same process went through the circulatory system, the weakest place reacted, it turned out to be the leg. In sepsis, pus spreads throughout the body. Amputation is done because the leg is severely necrotic, which catastrophically increases the release of toxins into the body. This is vitally important so that toxins do not spread permanently, Izvestia quotes Shestikov as saying. The need for amputation was discussed for several days. As a result, according to the media, the operation took place the day before, on February 6. However, it was later reported that the 2006 Olympic champion Roman Kostomarov would lose his second leg, reports the MASH Telegram channel. The next complex surgery should take place in the near future. At the moment, Kostomarov is conscious, lying with a special tube in his throat for breathing and connected to a ventilator, according to the source. Note that earlier some sources reported that doctors managed to mend the dead part of the tissue from the right leg and its amputation would not be required. Doctors also speculated whether the Olympic champion and ice dancing Roman Kostomarov could continue his career in figure skating after the amputation, as Zestia reported. Orthopedist, sports physician and surgeon Andrei Litvinenko said that there are special processes for skating so Kostomarov will be able to continue figure skating, but he can only compete as part of Paralympic teams. Mikhail Shilov, the doctor of traumatology and master of sports of Russia, also called prosthetics an important factor, but he noted that the recovery from such operations depends on the general condition of the body. With non-systemic diseases, it may take quite a long time. According to the media, the skater's wife, Oksana Donnina, is by his side in the hospital and in constant contact with the doctors. Colleagues are very worried about Kostomarov's health, but try not to disturb the family, understanding what a difficult period they have now. I wrote to Oksana at the very beginning, when it all just happened. I wrote words of support. But I understand that now it is better not to touch her unnecessarily. Still, the situation is very complicated. We are all very worried about Roma. We support him, he's very strong. I'm glad that he at least began to recover, it is very important. And that is the most important thing. We wish him well and will be happy to see him again soon," said Sochi Olympic champion Ekaterina Bobrova. Valentina Kostomarova, mother of the Olympic champion and ice dancing Roman Kostomarov, could not comment on the information about her son's surgery which took place the day before. As reported by the Izvestia, the woman said that she has not yet been allowed to visit her son, while all the relevant data on his health are only available to doctors. The mayor of Paris and Hidalgo spoke out against the possible participation of Russian athletes in the 2024 Olympics to be held in the French capital. 
On January 27, Hidalgo said she supported the admission of Russians in neutral status, stressing that athletes should not be deprived of competition. It is unthinkable, for Russian athletes, to march as if nothing happened if their delegation comes to Paris, Hidalgo said. It will be up to the IOC to decide. I'm against it. I do not support the neutral flag option, France Info quoted Hidalgo as saying. Russian State Duma Deputy Svetlana Zurova called Russophobic the statements of Paris Mayor and Hidalgo, who spoke against the participation of Russians in the 2024 Olympics. It is not up to her to decide that. Only the IOC, International Olympic Committee, decides whether to admit us or not. The mayor or the president cannot influence the admission of Russians. On the other hand, they can prohibit entry into a city or country, we have to take that into account. If they do that, of course. But this is an unprecedented case. Even in the Soviet Union in 1980 it was allowed to enter athletes from boycotting countries. No one put them on a team of refugees or dissidents. In our case, the words of the mayor of Paris are russophobic. They are deliberately trying to put our athletes into the category of refugees. If the West wants to comply with the Olympic Charter, the IOC should ban all national symbols at the Olympics in Paris. The Olympics is a competition not of countries, but of athletes. Let the best of the best come and compete. Because these boycotts and bans are kindergarten, said Zerova. The National Olympic Committees, NOC, of Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark and Iceland did not support the admission of Russians and Belarusians to international competitions. This was reported by the Norwegian NOC with reference to the joint statement of the Olympic Committees of the Nordic countries, which also includes sports confederations of Greenland, Faroe Islands, and Oland Islands. A statement to that effect was sent to the International Olympic Committee IOC. Now is not the time to think about their, Russians and Belarusians, return, this is our position, said the NOC, noting that the situation in Ukraine remains unchanged. Earlier the IOC announced about possible participation of Russians and Belarusians in the competitions under a neutral flag.